Good morning, everybody. Welcome. We are going to play. This is Calico Kate, Kathy Cowell, and I am taking from my prompts book what Janet Nash's prompts were yesterday. I was unable to do it with her, and I decided to have a play today. So I think I've got everything on her list ready. I am going to do them in order, but I have seen all of the ideas, prompts, so I guess I've cheated a little. The first one is a pattern, and this is a outside of an old pattern book. But I think I am just going to take this tall girl here, the big sister it looks like, and tear around it so that I can save it. I kind of like the simplicity there and the number. But under it, I am going to place a pattern piece. So I've kind of got two in one. Not going to cut it, not gonna do anything appropriate. I know I will never sew this dress. It is way out of my realm of ability. So I am just going to sew this in. So, no, I'm not sewing. I am going to paste this in and it will be my background. I love this paper. I kind of hate covering it up, but that's okay. I hope you all are doing wonderfully today. I hope you're finding some time to do something you want to do, whether it's Crafting, painting, gardening, sewing, sitting with your feet up, drinking a cup of hot tea or coffee. I have my energy drink here. I'm low on electric light, so I have to have one of those a day. So I have that almost empty, but not quite. When I'm emptied, I'll fill it with water. Let's move this this way so I can kind of see a little bit of the pattern piece. I don't want to Make it too brittle. But I did think a pattern was fun. Now, if you don't have this kind of pattern, you can use any kind of pattern you find. It can even be architectural. So, this was our first one. Now, the next one was relax. And... I like relaxing on the beach or on the boat. So I thought maybe I'm looking here through a few of my magazine pieces. I don't have lots cut out, so I may have to get another magazine. But I was hoping I would find something right here, and I apologize. You probably can't see what I'm seeing, but trust me, there was absolutely nothing to see. So let me get another magazine. This is a travel leisure 
that Tanya McGuire gave me. She lives over in Pensacola. And she was generous to give me some wonderful magazines. So, I've already seen, ooh, Julia would like that picture. I'll tear that and mail that to England. Um, see what I find. I may go back to those that I just saw a second ago. Oh, here's one. People on a boat sailing away. I went with friends from Key West and we did some sailing on their boat and oh, it was relaxing. So I'm gonna take this One thing I've learned about boating, it's not a vacation you got to come home and relax from. You truly get relaxed on the boat. So we're going to put that right there. And paint pants. Oh, I know what I'll do. I will do a little tracing with my paint pens. My husband's coming to the house. He's been outside working and it is hot. I went for my walk and 40 minutes just about did me in. But I hadn't slept well the night before, so I didn't get up till about seven this morning. And after I drank my coffee, I I went. It wasn't the easiest thing I ever did, but I did. Well, we're gonna have fairy dust polka dots in orange. So I think instead of making that orange, I am going to just trace around this fun little cut from my scissors. And do that in red to kind of go with the little girl's dress. There we go. And then I had my Rolodex out and I noticed I already had, had some orange, that blue on it. This is how I get rid of a lot of my paint. This little blue on it kind of brings out the stars. So I'm going to cheat and go out of order. And I'm going to stamp this on there. Now, I am still learning how to emboss. So, please don't take how to from me. Because if you do, you'll never probably do it right. I've just learned. Oh, that'll be a pretty fun pretty. And I'm going to pour it in and put the lid on it because the last time I embossed, I did neither one and ended up blowing it everywhere and spilling it. So cover your ears. I'm going
And I don't know if you can see that sparkle, but I'm calling that fairy dust. So I have fairy dust and star polka dots on the same little thing, but I'm going to add a little more. But I think I'm going to use my wet glue, get Aileen's help here to make this just a little better. And we're going to make it a pocket. a lot of arthritis in my hands, so I kind of have trouble squeezing the paint out. But we do it. Maybe this will improve that hand's strength. There we go. Let's see how that works. Got my needle in there. Now let's see what we can do for a tag that might kind of go with relax, which is there. Orange polka dots or something. I made these little tags out of scraps off my desk. This is straw paper. I get that from Etsy. Roxy Creation sells that. Um, well that needs to go back in there. Oh, I like that one. Okay, these are folded paper I make. I need to do a video on that, and I may, may do that tomorrow. Um, but I need something here. So let's get a little cheesecloth. I love cheesecloth. It works for everything. Cheesecloth and lace. You can't beat the two. And here's a little lace. And I've got some puzzle pieces I haven't used. So rather than use one I've already made, let's choose that one. And a little white paint. Just a dab will do me because I'm going to use a dot pen. So if somebody wants to say my heart doesn't have polka dots, my dot pen will. My grandkids, son and grandkids will be here in just a few few days. So my plan is, since the doctor's appointment was canceled this morning, is to bake cookies today. At least get them mixed. I won't want to do all of them today because I want, as they arrive, to smell good. Nothing like walking in to cookies coming out of the oven. But I'll have some already made up. I get pretty worn out with my heart if I do all of that in one day. So I am learning to pace myself. My husband still helps me to remember because 
you know, you get on a roll of getting stuff done and you tend to forget that you gotta rest and pace. So, let's see if we can push this down. need paint on the back. So when that dries, I'll put that right there. And it'll be a pretty little pocket. And when they take it out, they can see the rest of the prompt. Now, let's see about decorating. The pocket. Let's let that dry. Didn't take long for that white to dry, but we better let it or we'll have a mess. Let's see. Maybe I can put a little bit on this pocket. I just think these little girls are so cute. I didn't see a date on them, but I'm guessing probably 50s. Um, so... Got her on there, and I thought maybe that burlap's pretty. So I don't want to cover up my polka dots. I may just leave that. Because when this comes down, over the pocket it'll add some too but i do want a word so i will see what i can grab they all kind of look thoughtful. So I think I use this word thoughts. I appreciate your thoughts on my videos. Love it when you comment. Really appreciate when you subscribe and leave a like button. Tell others that'll help my channel. And that page is done. My prompts, if you want to do it, were pattern, relax, paint pens, fairy dust, polka dots, and orange. And if you like doing prompts, these are from Janet Nash's prompts. I will try to link her channel. I'm still learning. Some of those kind of things I'm not the best at. But thank you for stopping in. 
I appreciate the visit. And please don't forget, you have a purpose. See you next time. Bye-bye.